Hey everybody, welcome back to the next episode in Autobox Plays Dark Souls. We are in a tough situation. Um, last episode, we just barely got out of the depths, and we lost a lot of fucking souls, at least at this point in the game. And, if you notice, we're cursed. So we need to find a way of getting rid of this shit. And... Let's just get started. So first off, I want to make my way back up to meet Andre and trade whatever souls we have into improving ourselves. I definitely know that we want to upgrade the Halberd because the Halberd made it easier for us to get out of the depths. And I was originally planning on using the Uchi Gitana for this playthrough because that's actually what I used on my last playthrough. Um, I just don't necessarily think it's working for us right now. Maybe in the future I'll change my mind, but for right now I think sticking with a halberd is probably we are probably going to be our best bet of getting out of the pit of despair. Um, so we're making our way all the way back towards Andre, and he's actually located right here. Um, see you can hear him banging away. We've never had we haven't talked to him in this playthrough, but. Uh, we will quickly remedy this. Let's just rest at this bonfire, because Lord knows that we're probably going to die sometime soon. Anyway, let's talk to him. Hey, Andre. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of Astora. If you require smithing, then speak to me. Our new jester. Hurrah! Um, let's talk. Weapons and armor are mighty sturdy indeed. But every hunk of metal has its breaking point. If you notice durability running low, it's time to repair. You can ask a blacksmith like myself, or do it on your own with a grindstone. The nice thing about weapons, they never betray you. So pay them a little respect. Two types of weapon forging. There's reinforcement and there's ascension. Reinforcement is simple. It strengthens the weapon and nothing more. A simple task for any blacksmith. Hell, you could even do it yourself with a smith box. But ascension's a finer art. It alters a weapon's properties. Ascension is the territory of we blacksmiths. A smith box just won't do the trick. Start out with reinforcement. When that loses its charm, you can consider a censure. As you've noticed, this land is flush with the mad and wicked. You won't make it through the night without employing my services. <laughs> okay, let's see if, how much how far we can get at upgrading our halberd. We got it to plus two. Go get yourself killed. <laughs> no promises. Want to see you go yeah, no promises, Andre. Considering how well things have been going, let's unequip those, and I and probably gonna end up burning a bunch of our souls right now, just to make sure that we actually have some good stuff going on for us. pop this much for right now. Actually, let's make sure we get at least above 5,000. Actually, no. Just burn all of it right now. What am I thinking? Um, we are going to buy some Titanite Shards from him. Yes. No oh, shit. Okay, I guess that's how we give him the uh, Large Ember. Alright. Let us uh, buy some... Dianite shards. So, probably want to end up buying four. Let's go five for right now. As we hold six. Let's reinforce our halberd again. One more time. 
and buy one more arches. Yes, and reinforce. Get a halberd plus five. Okay, great. So the halberd is more or less completely upgraded for right now. Um. Let's see. But a couple other things that we could do. Um, there is a place where we could go to get a shield, our main shield, and I think we're going to end up doing that. Um, the shield, of course, is the Grass Crest Shield, if you notice that we're actually running to um, Darkroot Garden right now. And yeah, I really like using the Grass Crest Shield. It's a little tough to parry. Oh, fuck yes. The damages. Yeah, we're running to Darkroot Garden, then immediately turning right so we can go down to Darkroot Basin. Darkroot Basin is slightly tough, but hopefully we should be able to get through it. Ugh. I hate fighting the Hydra. Um, yeah, if you know anything about me, um, one of my fears is actually the idea of, like, deep sea creatures. That shit scares the fuck out of me. I have no idea why. I mean, mostly because I've never actually been to the sea. Well, I have when I was younger, but, like, that was probably when I was, like, one year old. So, I don't recall. Um, but I do know that deep sea creatures give me the willies and... Sweet. Got some arrows and shit. Um, how do we get down? That's one way, I guess. So, what we want to end up doing is making our way down to the lower path, which is this way. And, yeah, there is a Black Knight down at the bottom. Who might end up actually fucking our shit up. Pretty, pretty, pretty squarely. Yep, there he is. Hey, man. We'll see how well we can take him out. If not, then we might just have to make a run for it. Well, that is fucking awesome. Sweet. At least we saved. Yeah, the um, Black Knight Halberd is actually one of the most strongest weapons in this entire game. It's kind of crazy. Um, if we do end up getting one, we might actually end up using it. Because it would be, it would be really, really cool. The uh, strong, the running strong attack just does so much damage. It's actually one of the things that speedrunners use um, in the game. Like, just just kill, them, kill, the, kill the bosses like super, super quickly. So we might end up considering using that, if we end up getting one. But I'm not holding my breath. Sweet. Oh yeah, these homies actually dropped the um, purple moss clumps. Which probably would have been a good idea to come here first, so we can actually get a couple of those, so we don't end up dying like idiots to poison. Ugh. Okay, Dark Root Basin. I sincerely hope that we make some good progress in this episode. I'm half tempted to just dodge around that dude. Um, grab the Grass Crest Shield. Because the thing about this game is that even if you die, as long as you pick up the item, it doesn't matter. Because you're still going to have it with you when you come back. So we might not, we're probably going to end up doing that. Because I don't trust myself enough to not take any dumb damage. Let's go. Sweet. Well, we made it. We got the Grass Crest Shield. Um, we are going to fight him if we die. Whatever. If we don't, then get shit on, right? Okay. Game face on, guys. Well, 
Well, awesome. Okay. I shall be right back. Hey, sorry about that. Um, let's get back into it. Um, so, while I was away, I actually had an epiphany. Um, a revelation, so to speak, about playing Dark Souls, and I realize... The key to not being bad? Is to just stop being bad, is to get good. So, we're gonna get good right now. <laughs> Get good or die trying. Oh shit. We got some sippy off of that. That was strange. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna get fucking good. I am completely determined to actually kill that Dark Knight. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. If we set our mind to it, it is totally possible. Anything's possible as long as you believe in yourself. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, that's the notion that I'm going to subscribe to for right now. Because, god damn it, that's all I got. If I can't believe in that, how can I even bother believing in myself? I mean, someone has to, anyway. Anyway. Let's, let's do it, you little bitch. Come on. Not scared, actually, I'm <laughs> pretty scared. Let's go. No, oh, sheesh. Oh, goodbye, cruel world. Oh, fuck, we did it! <laughs> Okay. Or another thing we can do is just be so bad that we can let guard that our badness is contagious. Um that it's permeates through the throughout our character and just seeps into the the enemy's psyche. on just keep running just run run okay cool managed to not be so shitty up to that point Some blood red mouse clump. We're gonna we are gonna go check back down there and see if oh we should probably equip the grass crest shield. Although it might make us fat roll, but we'll s I mean, we're probably already fat rolling at this point, so I don't feel too bad. Anyway, it gives us extra stamina regen, and look at that. It makes it so that we can actually run around. Hopefully he dropped the halberd, but I kind of doubt it. Be sweet as hell if he did. Maybe? Eh. I guess not. Eh, whatever. Light this bonfire, and let's go back. Yeah, because if we end up getting the um, the halberd, maybe we actually can get through this. 
Just maybe. Let me try something really quickly. I, I have no idea if this will work. Anything? Anything where he fell? No. Eh, disappointing, but well, whatever. So, let's see. Now that we got the halberd and the shield, we should be on our way to not being complete shit. Um, I do want to improve our stats. So, I say, let's just continue on exploring Darkroot Garden. Um, the Moonlight Butterfly is a very, very easy boss to kill, even with our lowered health. I say that now, but eh, the Moonlight Butterfly actually um, is a pretty, pretty easy boss to kill. I mean, it all you gotta do is just dodge its shit. I mean, you could say that about any boss. So. Yep, there we go. But, yeah, like, like, it's weird. One of the things that it does is just, like, is it, it randomly stops and lets Wow. Okay. Well, that was something. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go back down there. We, I mean, we have to. Pro yeah, I'm definitely gonna. Also, I have to, I'm gonna end up having to splice these videos together. Because it doesn't make any sense to upload like a 10 minute part and then also have like a really shitty 6 minute part immediately afterwards. Um, but I hope you know that this is just the beginning of the despair that is to come. Because it feels bad, man. It feels bad. Okay, We're making our way back. Sweet. At least we know that we can one-shot these assholes. If we don't miss. Let's chug. There's that homie right there. He's gonna pop up. We were almost ready. We could almost fucked him up. Another purple moss clump, very, very helpful when we go back into the depths. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey. More souls. There's actually a illusory roll right in front of us. Right there. Just gotta whack that. Bam. And we can light this bonfire. We'll light it. Rest at it and make our way down to the bottom parts of Dark Root, Gar Dark Root Garden. Yeah, Basin's the other one. In here, there are four homies that are gonna come and kill us. We're not gonna go through there, at least not yet. Just gonna traverse this little parts and. Motion our way around. Got the partisan. Sweet. As long as we don't miss, then we will be able to, like, not get completely shit on. So we're just going to keep running around and go through here. Yeah, we're just going to run. 
Because I do want to fight the Moonlight Butterfly. Through here. And here it is. Oh, there you are. She gotta make sure that we dodge some of her stuff. Chug a little bit. Um, but yeah, when this bitch actually gets in front of our grill, we're gonna beat the fuck out of her. Cool. Come on, bitch. Now we're gonna have to drink a little bit more of her sippy. Okay. Ugh. Luckily, we can't fall off the damn bridge when we roll. If we did, this would be fucking terrible. Okay. Well, let's just chug a bit of our sippy and continue dodging. It does have like a huge Kamehameha wave that like fucks our shit up if we get hit by it. Okay, just keep dodging. Yeah, we're kind of stuck until we actually can... She swoops down. Oh no, don't do that shit. Fuck you. Okay, come on. Swoop down, bitch. I need you to swoop down. Two, three, one more, one more, and we did it. Not so bad. Pretty boring boss fight, but we do get a lot of souls out of it. Although I don't recall if we actually got a homeward bone. Hmm. Oh well, we'll just run past everything. Hopefully we don't get killed and lose all the souls. Yeah, up here, we're gonna pick up some blacksmith tools. Divine Ember, Homeward Bone, fuck yes, we got a Homeward Bone. Cool, and considering that, let's just use the Homeward Bone right now. No reason not to. Yes, we wanna rest at the last bonfire. That wasn't so bad. This might be the way we- OH! <laughs> oh, that would have been stupid. Let's level up. We do want to increase our HP. A bit. Let's just pump it all in HP. Yeah. Sweet. I don't feel too bad about that. Anyway, great! We're making fucking progress right now. It's a war of attrition at this point, but progress nonetheless. If you like what you see, please consider hitting the like button, it helps out a great deal, and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And until next time, I will see you guys later.